Hello, welcome back to Into Um Today we're going to be solving KCSE paper 2 for the 2019 past question. Now, um, the 2019 paper 1. So, if you are joining us for the first time, um, hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell. And you can also check out the paper 1 2019 on our channel, Into Tutors. Now, this question says simplify root 5 plus 3 over root 5 minus 2. Leave your answer in the form of a plus b root c, where a, b, and c are integers. Okay, now to solve this question, okay, so um, the first thing we need to do is um, we need to rationalize this sort, okay, so this is going to be root 5 minus 2. So we're going to multiply this by the conjugate, which is going to be root 5, the conjugate of the denominator, which will be root 5 plus 2 over root 5 plus 2. Now notice, I'm just multiplying by 1 because this cancel, this is going to give us 1. So our equation is still intact. So root 5 times root 5 is going to give us um, 5. Remember, when you multiply um, root 5 by root 5, it will give you root 25 and root 25 is going to give you 5. So root 5 times 2 will give us plus 2 root 5. Um, 3 times root 5 is give us plus 3 root 5 3 times 2 is going to give us 6 all divided by root 5 times root 5 will still give us 5 um, root 5 times plus 2 will give us plus 2 root 5 minus 2 root 5 times root 5 will give us minus 2 root 5 then minus 2 times plus 2 is going to give us minus 4 okay so this would be 5 plus 6 is going to give us 11 plus 2 plus 3 root 2 root 5 plus 3 root 5 will give us 5 root 5 all over now 5 minus 4 will give us 1 2 root 5 minus 2 root 5 will give us 0 so we we'll have our final answer to be 11 plus 5 root 5 now if you are to compare this with a plus b root c compare so you say your A is going to be 11, your B is going to be 5, and your C is going to be 5. So it's in the form of A plus B root C. Okay, so this that's our final answer. And that will take us to question 2. Okay, question 2 says um, the two types of floor X and Y cost 60 Kenya shillings and 72 Kenya shillings per kilogram respectively. The two types... Are mixed such that the cost of a kilogram of the mixture is 70 Kenya shillings. Calculate the ratio x is to y of the mixture. Now, to solve this question, um, the first thing you need to know it says um, x is 60 Kenya shillings and y is 72 Kenya shillings per kilogram. That means for one kilogram, that means I can say 60x plus 72y is equivalent to. 1 kg okay now it says the two types are mixed such that the cost of a kilogram of the mixture is 70 kenya shillings now it means um 70 kenya shillings this is the mixture that's x plus y because he said the two types are mixed such that the cost so this is the mixture Multiplied by the cost is also equivalent to 1 kg. Okay, because it says such that the cost of a kilogram of the mixture. So now calculate the ratio of uh, calculate the ratio x to y of the mixture. Now having these two equivalent um, equations, because the first equation is tending, this is equation one, two, and equation one should be equal to equation 2 because both of them are also giving you 1 kg. So I'm going to equate 60x plus 72y is equal to 70 into x plus y. So I'll open the bracket. This will be 60x plus 72y is going to give me 70x plus 70y. Collecting our like terms, this is going to be um, 72y minus 70y, 70y coming over will be equal to 70x minus 60x. So from here, I'm going to get 2y, it's going to be um, 10x. 
okay so at this point 2 over 10 is equal to x over y okay so this means 2 over 10 is the same thing as 1 over 5 is equal to x over y therefore the ratio of x is to y is, is equal to 1 is to 5 okay i hope you got that so as easy as that so that will take us um, to the next question that's um question three now question three says p varies inversely now remember your inverse variation you do one over once you hear inversely if it's direct we don't need to put the one over so inverse variation simply means once p is increasing the other quantity is decreasing and when it's direct when p is increasing the other quantity is decreasing but now it's same inverse so we write one over the square of another quantity l so l square so this means p is equal to k over l square it means k is equal to p l squared now let's find our k so it says when p is 0.625 l is going to be 4 so this is 4 squared so this is going to be k will be 0.625 times 16 so let's bring in our calculator so we can multiply that um so that will be um we'll have 0.625 multiplied by 16 we're going to get 10 so that means our k our k is going to be 10 so it says determine find p when l is equal to 0 0.2 so p is equal to k over okay so from here our p our p is going to be 10 over now um l squared it's l is 0 0.2 r squared so this is going to be 10 over 0 0.2 times 0 0.2 this is going to be 10 over this will be um, 0 0.2 multiplied by 0 0.2 is going to give us um, 0 0.04. Take out the two decimal place. 2 times 2 is 4. Put back your two decimal place. So we have 10 divided by 0 0.04. So I'm going to multiply um, here by 100. And I'll multiply here by 100 to take out the decimal place. This is going to be 1000 over 4. Okay? Because multiplying 0 0.04 by 100 is going to take out the decimal place. So, 1,000 divided by 4 is going to give us um, 250. So, that's our final answer. So, our P is going to be 250 when L is 0 0.2. Okay? So, that goes to question 4. Now, question 4 says an arc of a circle subtends an angle of 150 degree at the circumference of the circle. Calculate the angle subtended by the same arc at the center of the circle. Okay, now to solve this, let's draw the circle so we can understand what the question talks about. Now it says an arc, an arc of a circle subtends an angle 150 at the circumference. Now remember the circumference is any point on the circle. So let's assume this is the arc we are dealing with. This is our arc. So this is the arc we're talking about. Let me take in it so you get to understand that this is the arc. Okay, so now it says the angle is 150 degree. Now, calculate the angle subtended by the same arc at the center. Now, let's assume this is the center of the circle. So, it subtends another angle at the center. Okay, so now let's call here theta. Okay, now there is a rule in angle theorem that states that um angle at center is equal to twice twice angle at circumference once you know this rule you can solve this question at the circumference okay so now this means um the angle at center we have the angle at center to be um 150 degree so the angle at the circumference uh, the angle at the center is theta that's what we're actually looking for the angle at the circumference it's um 150 so angle at center 
will now be 2 times angle at the circumference, which is 150. Now, this is going to give us 2 times 150 will give us, um, that's 300 degree. That means our theta is 300 degree. So, once you understand this angle rule, you can solve this question without any challenge. 